Frustrated commuters across the country may welcome tech titan Elon Musk's latest big disruptive idea. How about this? Underground tunnels to beat traffic congestion. Last night in Los Angeles, he unveiled the first tunnel in what he hopes will become a network of underground highways, he says. Now, this initial stretch is only for tests and won't be used by the public. It runs between the headquarters of Musk's SpaceX company and a parking lot behind a closed business a little more than a mile away. When Musk took me for a ride the other day, it was an eye-opening four-minute journey. You can go ahead, I think. How fast is this? <laughs> this is still slow. We're this doing, is slow? only doing 20, 28, 30 oh miles an hour. Oh my God, oh my we'll God, speed oh up my God. After we get around the corner. This isn't just any tunnel. We can, go, oh. we can get 100, no problem, but we'll, we'll, we'll take it easy for you. <laughs> it's Elon Musk tunnel. And to understand why we're speeding through it, you need to go back a couple of years when he decided he had had enough of Los Angeles traffic gridlock. Either we try something new or we will be stuck in traffic hell for the rest of our lives. I, I still think, well, maybe this could be underground. This is the underground network he envisions. Electric cars using street level elevators to drop down into a series of tunnels. Autonomous technology in the cars ensure that they don't run into each other, despite going speeds over 125 miles an hour. Tunnels are, the, in my view, the only solution to urban congestion because we have a 2D road network and we have buildings in 3D. Like, and everyone wants to pile out of those buildings and into those buildings at the same time. Obviously, you're gonna have a traffic jam. No one was building such a system, so Musk formed the amusingly named Boring Company and started building it himself. He hired Steve Davis to be the company's new president. Because Steve, you're an engineer at SpaceX. You've been there for? 15 years. So when Elon came to you and said, I have this idea to do what? What did he say to you? Uh, go dig a hole. He had no experience doing tunnels and said, I'm just going to do it. Yeah. See, that didn't give you pause. Learn from scratch. Ah. So probably the first day, you won't be the best at it, but then you'll, you'll get better. About a year ago, that company started digging what has become today's 1.2 mile long test tunnel. It's in Hawthorne, near Los Angeles. Unless we can make tunnel digging at least 10 times cheaper, then digging tunnels will not be an effective means of alleviating traffic. It'll just cost too much. These are tunnel reinforcing segments. Musk's vision depends on him being able to do it all, faster and cheaper than current industry standards. While modern subway tunnels in Los Angeles cost around $900 million per mile, he says he built this for about 10 million. One way he saved money, he literally made it dirt cheap. When digging tunnels, it's quite expensive to have all this dirt trucked off somewhere. And we're like, well, why don't we try to use that dirt for something useful? So we are creating bricks on site. Um, and you can pick them up for in a very cheap 10 cents a brick. So all of these bricks yeah. came out of the tunnel? Yes. But speeding up the process was also a cause for concern. The city of Hawthorne granted Musk an exemption from typical environmental impact reviews required under California law. And in nearby neighborhoods where the tunnel runs, some residents told us they never even heard about the project until it was almost finished. Some members of the community seem to feel that they didn't really have input into that decision. We actually um, sent letters to everyone. I think that there's normally like a, a radius that you have to inform people. We doubled that radius and inform people. You know, and I think in any situation, there's going to be a few percentage of people that grumble. There was also grumbling from another area, the wealthier Los Angeles neighborhood of Brentwood, which is nearby Musk's proposed second test tunnel along busy Sepulveda Boulevard. Community groups sued the city of Los Angeles for also granting an environmental review waiver there. In August, Musk announced he was no longer building right that now. tunnel. But there's some like retired lawyers in Brentwood that all they do is sue, like literally, they just automatically sue. It's like a hobby. But those lawsuits sort of shut it down in Sepulveda, did it not? No, we decided that uh, another test tunnel isn't really needed. I am not phased by lawsuits. You can't go off the tracks, right? No. That's what you're saying? No, you cannot go off the tracks. At first glance, the tunnel is a bit daunting. It's only 12 feet in diameter, so it's much more claustrophobic than most transportation tunnels. 
We'll, we'll, we'll be able to go like 150 miles an hour if we want. If you're going that fast, what's to prevent it from crashing into another car ahead of you? That's what I worry about that. Uh, because the autopilot has radar and cameras that uh, will automatically slow you down before you uh, impact another car. You would only be allowed to go through the tunnel on autopilot. At the end of our four-minute adventure, that the verdict? <laughs> that was scary, but that was kind of cool. <sighs> And by the time we started up the elevator that returned us to the surface... And it'll be faster in practice. This is just going slow because it's uh, early days. I don't want to go any faster than what we just did. No, thank you. And when it was all over, it was easier to see how this proof-of-concept tunnel could actually be a preview of the world to come. At this point, I'm confident this can revolutionize cities and get rid of uh, soul-destroying traffic. Well, I had lots of questions. Elon Musk is a very confident young man. So obviously, I th first thing I thought about California, earthquake-prone area. But for anybody worried about that and a tunnel collapse, he has an answer for that, too. He's told me that earthquakes really do all of their damage on the surface, not underground. He says they're like waves hitting a boat floating on top of the ocean and that you'd rather be in a submarine deep underwater if there's a big storm. He also points out that historically, People who were in subway tunnels during earthquakes escaped serious injuries, like the 1968 Mexico City quake, when zero people died in, the, in their uh, subway tunnels. I mean, so I kept saying, well, what about this, what about this, what about this? And he has a question for everything. I think by the I'm time I was yeah. done, he was ready for me. That's okay, you may go along now. You know, he's been in the news lately. There was a lot of controversy about his personality, and it was very clear. He made that very clear to me in no uncertain terms. That's not what this conversation was about. We had booked this interview a long time ago. But I, I love how his brain operates. He looks at a problem. What he did with the Brooks is ingenious. You know, the, you, 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 it costs a lot of money to take away the dirt. Why not make bricks that we can yeah. sell? And if, you, if you're working with a nonprofit or something that is uh, helping people, you get the bricks for free. So, you know, he's always thinking about how he can make it make things better. I, and I, I do, I admire that about him. One, I read what another reporter who'd gone down that tunnel as well wrote, and he said that, that Batman would have been jealous. Yes. <laughs> That's a good way to sum yeah, it up. That is a good way yeah. to put it. <clears throat> very good way to put it. We've there, got to address that. We'll have cars underground. We'll probably have cars flying in the future, but something yes. to alleviate yeah. what is this traffic and infrastructure mess. He's thinking two steps ahead. There is much more of our interview with Elon Musk on our website. You can see the wild ride through the tunnel, and here what we talked about when it was over and he said Gail time for you to go check it out at cbsthismorning.com <laughs>